I'm guessing that you've had other folks who are full-time students. Any particular advice that's a little bit different than you would normally give to students, for example, that, that you give to folks who are working while they're doing the studying? You've got to be more deliberate about blocking off time and not letting it get interrupted by anything else. And so maybe blocking off full weekend days, not to study the entire day, but to make sure that at least five to six hours happens on the weekend and then carving it out where you can maybe before work or after work. But I don't want to tell you to do too much if you're already working 60 hours. That's a lot. Yeah. And w what I've done is um, I've it, it's nice because right now, it's nice that I'm starting now because right now is a slow season. Folks are still on vacation and, and finishing up all of that. So um, it's been a little quieter than usual, which is good. So I'll start on a quiet, quiet note. And then the holidays are usually pretty quiet too. Um, so I'll, I'll at least get started <laughs> on, on what's a quieter note and start to get used to it because it's, it's um, the logic game section, I think, is probably the part that I'll have down the easiest. Those are kind of the things I used to do as a kid, those little, like, like the nerd that I am. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, so I think that'll be, it, it's more getting the structure so that I could do it in a timed environment because obviously it's a little different than doing it on your own and, and spending as much time as you can. Um, but I think what I'm probably more concerned about is some of the, the logical reasoning and the stuff that I'm not as, you know, as used to doing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's good that you have the familiarity. And so that could help jumpstart you and get you into it. But yeah, carve out the time. I mean, are you working five days a week? I am. Um, but the good news is I've always worked from home and most of my work involved travel. And so with a lot of that gone, I do get a little bit more flexibility in how I can structure that, that you know, 60 hours if, if it comes to that. And the next couple of months will be much less than that, which is great. Oh, that is very good to hear. Okay. So take breaks where you can, if able, and if games are fun for you, those puzzles, then work those in as breaks from work. I'm glad that's where you're starting, actually, because that, that's the stuff that I don't mind doing. Cool. <laughs> so it's that's a good fantastic. way to jump right in and not feel like this is completely new and what am I doing? Yeah, and then scale up the LSAT prep as you're able to. If work gets less busy, you can then adjust with more time devoted to the LSAT. So that's good. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.